Um, I enjoyed the panel that was just on uh, photography and social impact. You know, that sounds very familiar. It is very familiar. It sounds like I've talked familiar. about this before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, go cool. on. Um, I mean, you know, it's something that I'm interested in. We, we cover it. It's basically what our workshop's about. It is nice to sit there and chat more informally about it, get questions, and see what people are thinking about. Um, so that was that was nice. Um, but I, th I think maybe the, the highlight from the stuff I've done was the slideshow because it was something very new, never done it before. Uh, so curating it, more process of going through, and selecting what the submissions that would be in it, what the images, and really interesting because when I talked to Nantar about it. I mean, let's do something on migration in Asia. No idea what you're going to get. Yeah. And so that was quite revealing about how people are looking at it. But what you don't know is how people are going to receive it, what they think. And I, I've talked to a few people, uh, but it would, be more, it would be interesting to know what people thought. So, you know, when you're doing a slideshow, there's no captions. I mean, there's a little intro, but that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, how people read those images is kind of interesting. And the setting, well, I mean, it's so fantastic yeah, it was, setting. Uh, yeah, I thought the setting was absolutely great. You know, and that, 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 that well, the, the water spout, it was really... I mean, really it wasn't just the well, it was the backdrop, the sky, the, uh, you know, old uh, temples, or mm. you call them temples, you call them temples, yeah, temples, and uh, the, the way people were dressed, you know. Mm. And the, the language, of obviously, you know, English and then uh, Nepali, right? Nepali. Mm. So, yeah, it was, you know. Yeah, it's very atmospheric, atmospheric yeah. Yeah, there. And, and of course, because it's open, you know, you anyone just can rock up and watch it. So yeah. you have all the people crowding to see yeah. what's going on. Yeah. And I mean, it was funny as well, just before it started, right? People were still coming down to like get their pails of water to actually bring out. And, you know, not even taking. Uh, not even just slightly bothered that they were, that the fact that they were like, uh, you know, a few hundred people sitting or waiting for some big slideshow to happen. Yeah. yeah. They were like, totally oblivious to that fact. Which is great. To, yeah. To just get their water. Actually, that reminds me of when we went to see Ian Tay's uh, work, which is in a, a slightly smaller uh, water spout. And, um, uh, and when we were walking around, there was a, this old guy who'd come in to like to bathe. Yeah. Um, and most of the time he appeared oblivious to sort of the fact that his where he goes every day I guess debate was full of all these like pin prints. But there's one right in the center of the lower level and when he finished he turned around and he's like, he's like yeah, yeah, he suddenly yeah. realized it's yeah. it's full of pictures. But that's something that I feel the whole vibe of the the festival is that there are all these pictures up on walls and wherever I go and I pass, there's always someone who is just wandering by and like, oh, okay. And then People watch, you know, go and look, and are interested, and you can see people taking photos of them, doing selfies by them, talking in detail about, particularly the ones which are from Nepal, you yeah. know, because people know, oh, that's this place, and uh, oh, I've been there, and you know, talking about it, um, which is great. I mean, it feels really open, um, and so that for me is a sort of an overall highlight that it is so open and accessible. And just, yeah. The exhibitions are just everywhere. What about you? Uh, I mean, obviously the, the setting was great, you know, this is the first time I'm here and to actually see the festival exist in the various sort of public spaces here. And I just came from Singapore Public Festival, which also had things in public spaces, but it's just, you know, completely different the spaces. Uh, so that was really good. Uh, I did portfolio views on the I think second day or something like that. So portfolio views are always like, uh, you don't, you never know what you're going to expect. Mm -hmm. Who's going to come, what kind of work we're going to bring. Um, and I also recently did portfolio views in Japan, which is again a totally different sort of, uh, pot of, you know, culture and photography, you know, from another part of the world. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting to see uh, how they presented their work in the portfolio, what type of work they were bringing in compared to the ones here. Mm. And, um, so I had like a few guys that I saw uh, the portfolio and uh, I mean, the, it was actually quite diverse. Uh, and depending on the person, I find myself having to wear different hats. 
because uh, someone might come in and is actually a, a bit more mature photographer with a, a lot of images working consistently on a project. Uh, so with him, it's more a matter of uh, looking at the work, responding to the work, and maybe yeah, giving him some ideas on how he can put it together in terms of editing. So there was one guy like that. Uh, all the way to uh, on the other end of the spectrum is um, a girl who want to who doing like press photography, who wanted to shift towards doing a personal project. So that requires a totally different response from me. So on one hand, the first guy, I'm kind of like, okay, this guy, you know, looks like I need to put my sort of editor curator curator hat on. So I talk to him in that sort of dialogue. Uh, and then this girl who's trying to make a shift in the way she looks at things and you know, takes pictures. Then it becomes maybe an uh, uh, educational educator sort of uh, head on. Where I, I can spot what she's doing, and it's typical of uh, most sort of uh, you know, press photographers trying to you know, make the switch to doing personal projects where uh, they are brief. They don't have a brief or they don't have an editor you know, telling them, okay, you gotta go and shoot this assignment and this is what I need. You know, they kind of their own editor commissioner assignment. You know. So suddenly there's like no brief, how do I handle it? So sometimes you know that that, that sort of transition is not as smooth, so uh, it requires a different kind of response as a portfolio reviewer. Mm. Uh, right to someone else who's like, okay, how can I improve my wedding photography? <laughs> that's kind of like another okay I gotta you know uh, you know put on my wedding photography hat you know? yeah. <laughs> I have, yeah. I have you know, a box for a cabinet full of hats that uh, you know I, I call upon whenever the need arises yeah. so yeah I mean it's, it's an interesting experience mm -hmm. um, and there were and I had a workshop as well and it's got like there's a mix of like, there was actually quite a lot of people uh, student participants from India that came and I heard that they took a, you know, over 30 hour, you know, dangerous bus ride here mm -hmm. just to attend the workshop, you know. Yeah, so I, <coughs> I just did a workshop and just finished day two. And I heard, you know, um, uh, quite a lot of them were Indians from across the border. And I heard that they, you know, actually took a, you know, 36 hour or something it was like an uh, hour long, rather dangerous bus ride uh, to, all, get to get here. You know, some of them were from other cities and they, were, they had to go to Delhi and then they had to catch the bus over and then at the border they switched a the taxi and then to a bus I mean, to come to the workshop, you know, so that's a lot of pressure, right? I don't want them to take the whole, all the trip, the 36 hour trip back and complain all the way that I didn't learn anything. <laughs> Yeah, so that is a bit of pressure. <laughs> but, but, you know, uh, luckily I was a bit prepared, you know, I've been doing, I've done a few of these, so, uh, yeah. Um, but, so they, they seem to enjoy it. Uh, and again, once again, similar to the portfolio reviews, you know, the uh, people that came in with the local factor was different levels, but some interesting stuff. But they learned, you know, they learned quite a, you know, I think they, they got something out and tomorrow's the last day. What else do you have? Actually, one, I, I've, I'm done now. That was the, the panel we just did on photography and social impact was my last formal thing. We had the, the panel um, a couple of days ago, which was again themed around moving Asia, which was interesting seeing uh, Shaitan Lalan's work on, on Bangladesh, Bangladeshi migrants going to Malaysia, um, and also Placid uh, Stafford's work on migrants who disappear and that sort of made me think um, about how you you know you go to a lot of festivals and you see an awful lot of work uh, from photographers in Asia and you know we've just had the pics you know edition on Nepal and, and so there's this focus on this sort of emerging photography from Nepal and be what your view is particularly as you've, you've been talking to I guess some young photographers as well and so where you see it's at because this festival is bringing together some of Nepalese photography as well as uh, wider. How do you see it? What's, is, there, is there a Nepali sort of photo scene? Is there something 
like gestating or growing on it. Uh, I think, uh, I mean, Nepal, the Kaluki scene is very much influenced by his movies. I mean, a lot of the guys at the uh, photo circle, other photo guys here, voluntary and all that. <coughs> they actually go to, you know, they go to Pashala as well. Yeah. You know, and I, and I think uh, uh, some of the guys from India, they actually come down and they, you know, come down here quite often and lend mm. their uh, hand in educating some of the mm. young photographers. So I think, you know, you, you kind of see uh, Nepal being an intersection of uh, the two so South Asian so kings, you know, yeah. or giants, uh, the giants, for example. And giants of you know photography, uh, um, I think, which is great. You know, actually, then if you look at the festival uh, guests, you know, actually, it's representative of that as well. There's a lot of Bangladeshis here, mm. and there's a lot of Indians here. Yeah. Mm. So it, it's and uh, mingling with all the local boys, you know, and mingling really well. You know, so I think it's it's a interesting uh, you know thing they got going on. Here. I, mean, I what I what I thought was really nice that we did yesterday as well was the networking thing we did. Oh yeah. And, and I told my Tara that I'm gonna probably steal steal that idea. Yeah. How did that go? I, I I was a bit I was a bit sort of dubious. Um, not least that it was at nine thirty in the morning. I didn't know how like you know <laughs> how open people would be to like talking to strangers. Normally these sorts of things in the evening, you know. Um, but I, the, the format worked, I think, you know, yeah. because otherwise you have these networking events, everyone turns up and they go into the groups of the people they know, and, and then, you know, the, sh the shy outsider can't get into that group, you know, the great photographers or whatever. Um, so this really forced people to just go boom, 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 and it sort of broke down those barriers because you could talk to anyone and you know, there's no, no problem in that. Yeah. So I ended up talking to some some interesting people, or actually carrying on some conversations that I'd start people having to have with people I wanted to talk to. Yeah. Um, so I, I like that. Um, I think I think the, the, the setting didn't necessarily need to be, it, it felt a little bit formal, you could have had it in some way a bit, a bit more casual, and then maybe gone on to, you know, if you'd had it, maybe gone on to sort of maybe dinner and, and drinks, whatever. So those, it would have allowed those, those starting conversations to become actually more substantial. Because yeah. I think it was like five minutes. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it worked. It, it worked. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I talked to some interesting people. People who were starting conversations with, quite frankly, uh, would have taken an hour to actually su successfully finish or, or satisfactorily finish. Um, so yeah, worth stealing. Yeah. yeah. It was a good addition because they didn't do that last year. Yeah. I think, and that was what we found because you've got. All these young photographers are coming in, and there's like you know overawed by these names who are here. Yeah. And they want to talk to them. They want to get some advice. They want to show some work. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's not always that easy to approach these people. Yeah. Like, well, of course, they're also busy at the festival. They're there for a reason. Yeah. I mean, a good example is a girl, little girl, taking a video of us right now. Mm. And she came up to me, and she, you know, we were if it was the usual networking thing over at the bar, and we we're all sitting in a little people, you know, chatting away to, you know, to your beers and eating your momos, she's not going to come up to me, but she did the other day, and, uh, <laughs> um, we had a good little conversation as well, mm -hmm. so very good.